Now available from Aurora Home Entertainment. Well, if you ever decide to conquer America, you, uh, you look me up here. <laughs> He found a way to follow his dream, only to find his new life is a struggle for survival. He's dead, Sheriff. His head's bashed clean in. He's under arrest, murder one. I never touched him. Who sent you? It was orders from you. Caught in a web of lies and deceit. <laughs> He is forced to kill. Okay, boys, we got a cop killer here, and cop killers do not get second chances. Or be killed. Deadly hunt, let's go! Yeah. Oh, wow. I can have anything I want. Right now, I want you. <laughs> His history. A dead man. That's some sick Jeff on here, don't you? Go! Starring Yorgo Oganovsky. Nick Hill. That's the problem. Meadow Jovanovsky. May I come? Lisa Marie Wilson. <laughs> How do they have bacteria in it? Framed for murder, he is now target of an all-out deadly hunt. <laughs> you refuse to admit that your crowd buddy is capable of cold-blooded murder. They set me up. And now, our feature presentation. something about this or what, Rico? Oh, he's a big one, Rico. He's a wheelie, wheelie, scary. Better be careful. Settle down, buddy. Go inside. You know, I had 
my eyes on that little lady there. <laughs> but after looking at you, I think I'm just gonna kick your ass and make you my woman. <laughs> How about it? You wanna be my bitch? Sit down, man. Could convince him. My people are anxious for your decision. Eddie, get the Mr. Makhan here. Another drink, please. No problem. This is very good, huh? It's almost like a like a mint to print. What the denomination that can I have? Uh, Twenty and one hundred dollar bills. That's a good. When? A week, maybe two. No, no. I must have this before Super Bowl or Sunday. That's uh, ten a day. It will be very difficult, but uh, I see what I can do. Mm, just do it, please. You see, every degenerate gambler in this town will come to this place on a Super Bowl of Sunday. And naturally, Mars, I don't want to give him the real stuff. Because I'm a no-loser, you know? I understand, Mario. Now, we're prepared to sell to you only for 25 cents on the dollar. Your cost, two and a half million dollars in cash. Tell me something, Omar. How did an ill-bred camera jockey like you come up with a bogus buck of this quality? <laughs> <laughs> you Americans have such a way with words. <laughs> it's a part of our Yankee charm, huh? Since we last met, my status has risen substantially. I have become... Uh, how would you say, a player? Is that a fact, huh? That is a fact, Mario. The fact is, is there a man known only as Alviso, a great financier? Realizing the unstable nature of his country, he began to look abroad for new enterprises. I am honored to say that my name and reputation came to his attention. I now conduct all his business in the West. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to sound a cool to Mars, but that is the biggest crock of shit I ever heard. Just have the money on Sunday, Mario. I'm gonna tell you something. If you ever lie to me again, I must send you to Arla. And you ain't never gonna see Mecca. Take care. And you too take care. What do you need? Me too. Hey, you guys need anything else? Hey, get out of here. It's a private meeting, get the Sarah. Fuck out of here. Fuck off, losers. Fuck you. <laughs> what do you want, Juan? I'm in. You know, I'm not saying I don't trust you guys. We're talking about a lot of money here. My dad's one thing, but we still got to think about the cops. You gotta be fucking joking, you know. This guy's FBI. X. X FBI. What's the fucking difference, Jason? Right. 
The difference is this guy's life is fucked from top to bottom. I defended him when he got kicked off the bureau. The wife took every dime he had. He's got a criminal record. I mean, why the fuck do you think he's working in this place? He likes looking at tits. Everybody <laughs> likes looking at tits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys like looking at tits. Rico's got nowhere else to go. There's no way he'll do it. There's no way he'll do it. Look, we need a fourth to pull this off. Rico's the perfect guy for the job. He knows how the cops think, and you know you can be damn sure he's not gonna crack under pressure. He says he's one of the best they ever had. I can't, I can't do this anymore. I'm scared. Heather, didn't you say you wanted out? Don't you want a fresh start? We can make that happen for you. Yeah, but, but Eddie, he knows the way he looks at me. Hey, if Eddie would have made you, you'd already be dead. And we're not gonna let anything happen to you, Heather. You got my word on that. You're our best shot at the rally. And whether you believe it or not, we are your best chance to get away from him. Listen, <clears throat> just get us the date of the transaction. We'll all be over. You promise? Yes. Heather, I promise you. We are not going to let anything happen to you. I promise you. Hey, remember what I said, huh? Huh? It's going to be OK. <laughs> OK. OK? So you want to rip off your own father. Long story. Look, we need you for two reasons, Rico. First, to take out the security guards upstairs. And second, we, we got to know what to do with the money afterwards, you know? Keep the cops off our ass. You're an expert in both areas. What do you think? I think you ought to lay off the booze, counselor. You don't see it. You know, Jason, one of us has got beer goggles on, and it ain't me. The answer is no. I know my father's operation like the back of my hand. I spent most of my youth there. Well, the FBI spent the better part of 10 years trying to put that slippery son of a bitch away, and he's come out clean every single time. Now, what does that tell you? The legal system sucks. Yeah, well, you're the fucking lawyer, aren't you? Exactly, Rico. Look where it got me. Up to my ass in debt. Well, excuse the hell out of me. If the violins are playing a little bit faint, why don't you try my job for a night? There isn't going to be a place or a job, Rico. Royce, Chuck, and I are all flat broke. Come on. This is no Copacabana, but we sunk everything we have into it. In two weeks, we don't come up with a shitload more than we have now. The IRS is going to seize this place. We're out of business. How's your eye? How old are you now, Rico? Don't you piss off, Jason. I'm serious. What are you, 34? What part of no don't you understand? Hey, you're 34. We're gonna fucking strip joint beating up guys for a living. What? So you can scrape up enough money together to pay alimony? That's it. It's a damn good thing we don't charge you for booze, because you sure as hell couldn't afford it. Problem is, there's nothing else you're qualified for except maybe security. Hey, who's going to touch a guy with a fucking drinking problem, not to mention a fucking criminal record? Huh? Oh! Oh! What this is called, Jason? It's called below the belt. It always hurts, and it's never fair. By the way, you're right.
Viso. Always good to see you. Say, Rico. Okay, we know that Varelli has been operating illegal gambling games, among other things, in his clubs for quite some time now. His officers tried to nail him with a charge that would stick, but unfortunately we're dealing with a bastard who has Teflon for an exterior. <laughs> See, Washington believes that uh, something real big is cooking with our friend, Mr. Varelli. Uh, we have reason to believe that he's doing a deal with this group from the Middle East. And we've managed to sway someone close to, to Varelli onto our side. And she's going to be acting as our informant. See, we're pretty sure that uh, Varelli's doing a deal that involves millions of counterfeit American dollars. What we don't know is when this thing is going to go down. So, familiarize yourselves with this report and be ready when our surveillance operation goes into effect tomorrow. And enjoy your families, huh? After tomorrow, you're not going to be seeing too much of them. And as for you, Jack and I will be picking you up around 8 tonight. Tonight? For what? I want to see my old partner. Rico? Mm-hmm. You ever been to a strip club? Why a strip club? Well, because, one, that's where he works. And, uh, and also Jason Varelli is one of the owners there. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll be ready at 8. Good. We got nine fucking days, Jason. We either decide to go it alone, or we delay it. And we can't delay it. 
Do you have any idea how much money's bet on the Super Bowl? Come on, Chuck. Any other time, we're talking one-tenth the cash. Maybe. Besides, we're gonna need the game as a distraction downstairs. Come on. We're rushing this thing, Jason. We are rushing it. Look, if we're not ready, we shouldn't do it. Look. Oh, we get it. Listen, look at this. Don't worry, boys. We'll be ready. It's about time. Reconsidered, huh? Come in, Rico. Rule number one, if I'm in, it's my show. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. F.B. fucking I. We're doing just fine without you. You want to hear rule number two, or do I leave right now? No, nah, all right, big guy. What's rule number two? Nobody. Not for one fucking second. Questions. Rule number one. Uh, okay, Rico. That's cool. Let's Bullshit. Go. What makes you think you got all the fucking answers, huh? I didn't say I had all the answers. Oh, okay. But I had put more away, two-bit hoods away like you than I care to remember. Is that right? Yeah. Now I know what to look for. I know what the cops will be looking for. I've heard your plan to get in, but I've got the plan to get out. And once we get the money, I got a contact that'll take the money offshore where it can be transferred. You know, I take absolutely no more cash than you need to keep this place afloat. The rest sits untouched for two months. No, Jason, nobody's gonna tell me what to do with my share of the money, okay? Hey, listen, one gets caught, we all get caught. Now, isn't that how you ended up in the slammer, Chucky? Oh, this fucking guy, man, Jason. He's got a point, Chucky, listen to him. Look, guys, this isn't about ego or who's in control. It's about living long enough to enjoy the prize. And if you listen to me, I can help you do that. Mm -hmm. Now, do we have a deal? Let's do it. All right, let's have a look at Varelli's blueprints. Enough! Ah. Now, do we understand each other, Mr. Goldman? I did look two weeks! Two weeks? <laughs> You're already a month and a half late, you asshole. I had a problem. I had a problem. Oh You're God. not going to give me an excuse, are you? I'm kill this pussy! Hey, you got to relax, please. Watch the old man. Three deeper breaths. You relax. Mr. Goldman, I hate excuses. <laughs> Don't give me no more excuses, please. You give me another excuse, and idiots are gonna put the hurt on you. It's the bad hurt. What am I pardoning? Hey, I don't want to believe it. He said, give me another excuse. Let me execute the motherfucker. <laughs> Man, man, I get he said he fucking he did. What the fuck's the matter with you? Man, shut the fuck up! Jesus Christ, boys, you, you got the learn to take it easy. <laughs> fuck this piece of shit. What did I tell you so many times? You don't to kill him before you get to the money, the money. Yeah, but he was talking a bunch of bullshit. You owe me 50 thou. Oh, nobody's gonna disrespect you while I'm around. <laughs> okay. Maybe we all are gonna make a mistake. You see, I think maybe our other associates will take this as an example. It was worth the 50k. But I want now for you boys to listen. Don't to kill them before you get to the money. Huh? Please don't forget. You forget the boys that I'm gonna spank you. <laughs> get the trash out, please. <laughs> Is 
Rico Profit around? Yeah, he's here. I suppose you want me to get him. If you don't mind. Fine. Julia Arcos, Jack Creighton, Echo yeah, Prophet. Uh, yeah. Two shots of scotch neat. What are you guys drinking? No, no, Rico, we're on the job. Three sodas. Three sodas, two shots of scotch. So, uh, how long are you in town for? Is that classified? Well, as long as it takes. You know that. Of course. Uh, listen, Rico, we need to know about Jason Varelli. You're in here investigating his old man, and you want to use me to get to the kid. Fucking dumb. It's always the same, isn't it? Uh, it the end always justifies the means, doesn't it, Dan? Listen, Rico. Forget I brought it up, okay? So you okay or what? Jason's clean. He and the old man have been talked for years. Are you sure? You know, I can't believe you came all the way down here to give me a piece of shit. Listen, Rico, I said forget it. So, how's life in the real world? Oh, it's just fucking peachy. Yeah, well, the view ain't too bad now, is it? Don't suppose this place has a phone. <sighs> yeah, it's, uh, in the office. Excuse me. So Cutter says you were one of the best. Yeah, best what? A stage it. It's uh, quite a compliment. Yeah, right. Look, I think we get off to a bad start, Rico. Let's start over again, huh? Whatever. Come on. Danny's just doing her job. She's a good agent. He's a good agent, huh? Uh-huh. Hey, you know, I, uh, I better check in with the office. Okay. Then what's a good agent? You arrest a few peddlers and bingo, you're a good agent. You want to be a great agent? You gotta check your soul at the door and don't be surprised you wake up one morning as dark and ugly as the sons of bitches you've been trying to put away. A dark side, huh? Mm, make it sound like some fucking Star Wars cartoon, don't they? But it's a gradual, imperceptible darkening. You don't even realize it's taking place until, uh, you're so caught up in it. <laughs> Can't be a great agent without it. And what about Danny? <clears throat> you're right. She's a good agent. The day she becomes a great agent. The Danny we know won't be around anymore. Same goes for you, Julia. What you think about it? Sorry, we gotta go. Listen, buddy, can we get together sometime? Uh, how about Thursday night? No, actually, Thursday's not good. Uh, how, maybe, um... how about you? Oh, I don't think so. It's not a good idea. Listen, I know you guys are busy, but you know, if you get some time, let's all get together, okay? Sure, Rico. Keep in touch. And those losers want you in the back. What do you like? Well, you gotta go with San Fran. 
I still don't have a firm date with Mars. That fucking pumpkin head motherfucker said Friday midnight before Super Bowl Sunday. Well, what can I do for you, young lady? You like going down to the bar for a drink? I'm not a thirsty, but I do have an appetite. Yeah, it's me. I only have a few moments. Uh-huh. You sure? Yeah, yeah. No, the deal is definitely going down. Friday night is Super Bowl weekend. Midnight. What can I Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Look, look. I gotta go. I gotta go. You loving me, baby? idea. And I love you too. It's, uh, it's too bad. What is? Eddie, come in here, please. Eddie's gonna take you home. <laughs> but I want to stay with you. I know you do, darling. But I want you to go. No, you do that for me, huh? Thank you. Hey. during the game? Of course I don't want to do business during the game, you stupid. The feds are going to have so many people around us taking this joint out. Eddie, I figure if we let the Mazda come in, he's going to look just like any other painter customer. You got it? Get her out of here. Now you're talking. No, there's no one to get soft to you. If it really pays us damn good. Get, get the fuck out of here, you tramp. Fuck you. you. Get out of here. You're a dick. Oh, I love that bitch. Eddie, you know this has nothing to do with money. You know that. You know Varelli wanted this differently. You know that. Hey, I do my job, asshole, okay? All work, no play makes Eddie a dull boy. And if I can have a little fun while I work, who gives a shit? If you don't leave, get the fuck out of here. We stick to business. That's what Pirelli wanted. We stick to business. I do business my way, you do business your way. Oh, yeah, you know what? Well, guess what? Pirelli does business his way. Did you know that? So what? Hey, he's taken care of us for a long time, you understand? Now, you go and you pull some dumb bullshit like this, you know what? There's not going to be a cut in it for us, you understand? Nobody takes care of fucking Eddie but Eddie himself. You got to send a fucking message. Fine, send your fucking message. Just send it straight up. <laughs> Where's this straight up shit coming from? What's this straight up shit? You don't get it, do you? No, I don't get it. Fill me in. <laughs> you don't fucking get it. No, I don't. She's a lady. So what? She's a lady. Who gives a shit? 
why don't you just fucking throw her off the cliff, all right? <laughs> you know something, Nick? You're such a sweetheart. I wouldn't know whether to fight you or fuck you. <laughs> You're lucky you got me. Oh, <laughs> you know that? Well, You're lucky. Be, because uh... you are a fuck. You understand that? Master fuck. <laughs> yeah, that I am. Let's go have a pizza. Let's get out of here. <laughs> fuck. We do it quick and we do it clean, all right? Yeah, I'm gonna fucking rape this bitch. Eddie, you listen to me. Don't ever fucking touch me! You understand me? If you don't want any of her, that's up to you. I'm gonna rape this fucking bitch. Fuck out of that car now. Get out of that fucking car. You understand? Get out of here. Huh? You wanna tell me what this is about? I'll tell you what this is a fucking about, okay? Morelli's kind of shy. He wants me to have a little talk with you. You know something? It's too bad you gotta be so fucking beautiful and a rat. You wanna stare me? Boom! <laughs> 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 Got no choice. I was wondering, does that invitation for dinner still stand? We got scotch and pizza. What about beer? Got plenty of that. Yeah? You sure? Yeah. I took the day off. You know Heather's dead. They killed her. I told her I'd protect her. Oh, I could kill them. So you want revenge? Oh, you're fucking right. I want revenge. So how long you feel this way? It, what, angry? No, like committing murder. I didn't say I was going to do it. Hey, listen, murder is murder, Julia. Unless it's self-defense. The catch is, all this violence and anger just makes you a better agent. You know, I don't really see that as a problem. <laughs> Man, come on. The Bureau takes a well-balanced, intellectual human being like yourself and throws him into a human cesspool. And you know what? They're not even saying right or wrong. They're saying legal or illegal. And they don't give a damn about your state of emotions. You could be the most twisted, evil, sick son of a bitch on the face of the planet. As long as you get the bad guys, you're a great agent. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. What happened to you and the Bureau? It wasn't the Bureau, it was me. The Bureau just allowed it to happen. Cutter mentioned some trumped-up assault charge. Yeah, well, Cutter's got a big mouth. What was it? It was a domestic thing. What? Your wife? Ex-wife, obviously. 
you hit her. Yeah. Right cross. Shattered the entire left side of her face. Two weeks in the hospital. You satisfied? So you're violent by nature, huh? No, not by nature. Then why would you hit her? Because she asked me to take out the garbage. That's it? That's it. Now, is there anything else you'd like to know about me? Books I like to read, movies I go to. Come here. What? Look, I'm not gonna bite you. I took my happy medicine, okay? So come here. A little closer. Cheer you up, did it? Oh. Something tells me I need to hear that. Well, if you ever need any more depressing news, you know where to find me. Rico. It's okay. It's okay to forgive yourself. Who do I have to fuck to get your job? How about that? <laughs> There's no way I would fuck that with your dick. <laughs> That'd be a medical miracle, <laughs> wouldn't it? Ew. <laughs> Rico, how goes it? Well, full bar, three days without a fight, I'd say that's a pretty good omen, huh? Pretty bad. So the boys in? Yeah, you wanna get into it? Yeah. Listen, uh, if there's any trouble, I'll be in my office. Oh, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Put your feet up. Relax. Kick back. If there's any trouble, I'll just use my kung fu on him, Rico. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, Hi, Rico. Dan. <clears throat> Dan, what are you doing here? I wanted to talk to you. Look, I'm, uh, I'm kind of busy right now. It's a, it's, a, it's a bad time. You don't have to be so cold with me. Look, I'm sorry. I I'm just a little preoccupied right now. Um, anyways, I'm, uh, I'm sorry to hear about what happened. What are you talking about? Well, you know, the, the informant, Julia, told me all Julia. about Julia? Julia. This, this was a bad idea. I gotta go. D Danny, wait a minute. Wait. Danny, you called this off. You, you called this whole thing off, not me. It's getting all too complicated. That's what you said. I know what I said, Rico. I was afraid. Hey, look, Danny, I was afraid too. I was starting to get weight. My wife hadn't gone two months. So you used me? No. You used me, used everything in your life. No. No, I did not use you. 
I feel sorry for you, Rico. Hey, Rico. Lady problems? You know, Royce, one of these days, that mouth of yours is gonna write a check that your ass can't cash. Okay, okay, look, calm down. Business, all right? Come on. Come on. All right, uh, we take the uh, money down to your guy in the Cayman Islands. You boil funnel it back to the States, right? How do you know we can trust him? We got enough on him to put him away for the rest of his life. We can trust him. Now, what's the absolute minimum that could be in that safe? With all the betting going on that day, the very least two million. The most five or six. <laughs> that is more than enough for That's all right. of us. Gentlemen, three days to Super Bowl Sunday. Here is two success. Money to burn. Money to burn. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let me take this. Here. Sit down. I want to talk to you. No. Sit down. Yeah. Why don't you tell me a story, Jason? Oh, you know a story. Once upon a time in a very smoggy kingdom where there was this wicked, wicked man named Varelli. Who had a son. And for some unknown fucking reason, he just wanted to rip off his own father. What are you, a fucking therapist? I told you. The club needs some money. Yeah. What else? Nothing else. <laughs> Look, Jason, I'm putting my life in your hands when we walk into that casino together. Now I want to hear it all. Let's try it again. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. <laughs> a very smoggy kingdom. Very good. There was a wicked, wicked, wicked man named Morelli. Okay, uh, this is a deal. Danielle, Julia, and I are gonna take the first shift watching the bar. The rest of you guys can relieve us later, all right? I'll see you guys later. <clears throat> From now on, our coast. Information stays in this office. What are you talking about? We discuss the details of this case with an outsider. It's inappropriate. Look, if you're talking about Rico, he happens to be working for one of the men we're investigating. Don't do it again. Okay. You're right. She was so good. Warm and loving. I don't think my my mother really suspected what my father did for a living until then. What did she do, Jason? What do you think? Oh, she's she freaked. I, my father killed the husband of her best friend. She threatened to go to the police and. in the summer. When I was home from school. <laughs> Someone put a gun in her hand. That wasn't suicide, man. She never would have done that.
understand and sympathize with your anger and your rage. But if I think for one second that you're in there thinking of revenge or anything that could jeopardize this operation, I'll frag you myself. Got it? Yeah, got it. Good morning, Las Vegas. This is Tony Dietz with you. Well, Super Bowl Sunday's upon us, and I don't know about you, but my money's on Miami. Unstoppable. Outside looks like it's going to be a good one. We have 54 at the airport in the clear skies. We should get up around 70 by midday. Things are definitely gonna go off, right? Can you bet? Cool. This is the last one. Got some players here. How's everything coming, guys? Almost. Looks looking good. Almost you got everything you need. Right, good. Listen, I want you to stop what you're doing. Go over this thing one more time. We've already been over that a hundred times. Listen to me, little boy, little prick. Let's break the record and make it 101. Why don't you start? Okay. Guys, All knock right. it off. This is serious. Go. I enter the bar at the 10 minute mark of the third quarter. I place the bombs all around the bar. I check with Chuck, get the signal, and kaboom. Bang. Smoke everywhere. Connie will be here in an hour. Eddie. <laughs> Eddie. We're gonna make a lot of money on this one. <laughs> yeah, we will. All right, boys, showtime. Hit the road. Rico. Yeah? Long and healthy life. You too, man. You're right, Jason. Yeah. yeah. I'm just a little nervous, that's all. Just a little? I'm fine, really. No. Better to be nervous than not. Just make sure it's not panic, all right? Cut her hair. Good, good. Okay, stay close. No, no, no. Let him enter the bar before moving in. Yeah. Makani just left his hotel. <sighs> Finally. Makani's in the big room. That's good. That's a good. Mary, I like it the way you did it. You ready? Okay, he's going in. We'll give him 10 minutes to make the transfer.
Your drink, Mr. McConney? Merci. <laughs> A votre santé. A la vôtre. Maz, you like a champagne? Almost as much as good money. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Where are you? Yeah. Eddie? There's something is wrong in the casino. Please check it out. Something wrong, Varelli? Hmm. Same old casino bullshit, man. Smash your ass up now. Hit the floor. Hey, what the hell is this? Hey! Hey, what the hell is this? What does it look like, asshole? You need a diagram? Do you know who you're dealing with? Yeah, I'm dealing with a dead man if you don't shut that dirt chute you call a mouth. We all gotta die somewhere. Now that's original. Thank you. All right, sweet. I wouldn't try anything. Pull it in the trigger. Pull it in the trigger. Move, man. You ain't got it above. Pull it. Do it for your dead man. Let's go. Nothing. Shut up! Okay, call in all units. We've waited long enough. This is our coast. All units move in. Come on, come on here. The feds are all over the place. Oh, Do you run here with your so-called war, war, war security, huh? How the hell I know who they were? They were masked. Aye, yeah, my dear. What the hell is this? Freeze! FBI up against the wall. Aye, your mother. I don't want to go against the wall for nobody in my office. Hey, where's the money, asshole? <laughs> the money. <laughs> money. M money? <laughs> Mars, I don't know if it's your guy or my guy, but one of them. Just to perform a miracle. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, I'm just hang on, man. Me, man. We'll get you the fucking doctor, man. Ah, ah, just hang on, man. Julia, give him the warrant. I'll search your goddamn place. Hey. I'm here to inform you that I haven't been involved. All the men are coming here. They wear a mask, they wear a handgun, and they take up from me something very valuable. We got two dead downstairs. Those two fucking dead men downstairs wearing heavy electronic equipment and carrying handguns. Fuck. He's telling the truth. Look, I haven't been involved of a two and a half a million of dollars. Oh. But I'm a very sure that you will find the people that take this from me. <laughs> and you will bring my property back to me. Hmm? And how much counterfeit do they take? You're a good looking a bitch. I like to see you naked. Now listen, you guinea prick. We're gonna find the guys that did it, and one of them will roll over. Look, I'm with a victim here. You got something on me, you prove it. You ain't got nothing on me. You do your stupid little job, and then you get to the fuck out of here. <laughs> Shit! 
Shoot back, for Christ's sakes! Fuck it, I'm bullet, man! Do something, Jason, they're right on our ass! Give me a gun! Do something! Son of a bitch, you threw Chuck right into the waiting arms of the cops. Why the hell did you just leave a damn business card at the casino? What else was I supposed to do, man? A fucking cop to ride on our ass. And you ought to be thanking me. Jason, what the? What are you doing, Jason? I'm getting real anxious, man. This isn't the way you explained it. Nah, I explained anything about you pulling a gun on me. I just need time to think, man. Take it easy. Everything's gonna work out just the way we planned it. What about Chuck and Royce? Was that part of the plan? We all knew the risks. Now, this is no time to lose your heads. We're gonna take the no. money, we'll just... No! No, man, you, you fucking slide me the suitcases! <laughs> Come on, man. You don't know what to do with this kind of money. I'll figure it out, man. Everything's still cool this way. Don't lose your head. What about Chuck? What about Royce? Hey, they knew the fucking risks. They were my partners. Jason, this is not the time to be weak, man. No, yo, you, you slide me the fucking suitcases, man. No! Give those two a good burial. Mario, we are both men of the world. Sometimes we cannot control the circumstances around us. However, that does not relieve us of our obligations. Mars, you saw what happened. Two and a half million dollars in cash. That is your debt to me. Tomorrow, I will pick up two and a half million dollars in cash. And Mario, my money will be here. Miles, is that a threat? Threaten? No. That's a good. Because I would have hated to think a trusted old friend like you would have threatened me. I would never threaten an associate that I hold in such high regard. I just want to be sure that there is no misunderstanding in our relationship. There is a no misunderstanding. Tomorrow then, Jake, please escort to my friend now. It's always a pleasure, Mario. Tomorrow, Mars. Me and Jake to take care of that jack-o'-lantern. No. The 
the man who wants me to pay him tomorrow. And tomorrow, the debt will be paid in a full. A fucking camel jockey. So you haven't passed out yet, Rico, so I guess you need another shot. Yeah, why don't you hit me? Oh, great, Fabio. Which one of these two are you doing? We're here on business, Rico. We're trying to find Jason Varelli. Have you seen him? No. Um, he hadn't showed up today. We were at Super Bowl Sunday yesterday. I don't know, maybe a title knot or something. I suppose you heard about Mario Varelli's club getting hit. Four guys in stocking masks, two of them partners in this bar. You don't say. Would you know anything about it, Rico? He asking her talent. We're just looking for answers. Well, look, um, if the old boy shows up, I'll give you a call. You do that. Any ideas who the fourth might be? We think he had some sort of training. Ex-military, maybe even an ex-cop. Danny, 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 just what exactly are you getting at? I think you know what I'm getting at, Rico. Listen, we're going to leave. If you hear anything, would you give us a call? OK? I'll be right on the phone for you. Thank you. Let's go. Come on. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye now. Danny, are you going to tell me what's going on? He's involved. Put a tail on him. Isn't that a bit presumptuous? Julie, it's our job to be presumptuous. He was your ex-partner. Yeah? No, he's the suspect. OK, I know in a case like this, it's our job to be skeptical, but don't you think your past with him should tell you a little something about his character? And what the hell do you know about my past with him? I didn't realize. Julia, you discussed the case with Rico. That's where you were wrong. Yeah, well, why didn't you tell me? I don't know. Whoever I thought Rico was, though, he's dead now. You know, kid, I never thought I'd ever see you and the old man doing business together. He always said you were uh, too good to do business with him. Let's see what you got. It's a lot of cake here. Can you handle the job? Obviously, I can't be walking around with this kind of cash. Twenty percent of the total, and the money will clean. Me, and then you ain't got no worries. Man, that's fucking crazy. The normal rate is five percent, and you know it, Santini. You know what else was crazy? That line of crap you give me about you and your old man doing business. Words on the street. When his club got hit on Super Bowl Sunday, he took one hell of a beat. You want clean money? You're going to pay the premium price. Twenty percent in silence. I've been doing business with the Varellis since before you were born. I'm a trusted associate because I keep my mouth shut. This time you know different. What are you trying to pull, kid? What the fuck are you doing? Come on, what are you square? What the fuck are you doing? Square! It's not worth the goddamn paper it's printed on. What are you talking about? Just... You know what? You know what? I think maybe, just maybe, we ought to call your old man and see what he's up to. See what's going on here. Hey, light the Mars cigarette for him, please. Mario was always such a gracious host. 
Thank you, Ma. And now business as usual. Praise Allah. Even on a Sunday. What is this, some kind of a joke? Dead to paid in a fold. I say the Fed's got a tail on some bouncer. A bouncer? What for, Jake? Because they think he stole the money. A bouncer. Jake, are you going to tell me I lost a two point five million dollars to a bouncer? Yeah. A bouncer? Jason. How you doing? It's so nice to see you, huh? Come here, what up, you arm? Sit down. Sit down. You okay? Huh? You okay, Jason? I heard about the little problem you had here yesterday, Dad. And I did a little checking. It turns out that my partners, with the assistance of a A boy, bouncer? You know. That's all I know, Jason. Why don't you please fill me in? See, it's so nice of you to come over here. You take a wound in the arm, and you bring him to my property. It's not that I give a fuck about you. But you are my old man, aren't you? <laughs> we all make mistakes, Jason. Look, if they think they can fuck with you, imagine the shit they'd pull on me. You know, Jason, your mama's not here anymore to protect you from me. No. No, she's not, is she? Look at Jason. You're a lawyer. A lawyer's have no guts. You would not take a bullet in your right arm for a lot of cash, even if it was of your own. Listen, old man, you want your money, we deal. The shit there's counterfeit. You want the real shit back, you better move on it. It ain't what's gonna be for long. You know where it is? Why don't you go after it? This bouncer. He's an ex-fed crazy son of a bitch. I'm not gonna risk my neck. No way. And when you got these fucking goons here to take me. Baby! Jason, please listen to me. Be nice to the lady. He's a very sensitive boy. And when he gets a sensitive, he gets a mean. How about a little privacy? <laughs> privacy? You and me? <laughs> I like it, okay. Jake, get here. Please take a walk. My son and I finally going to discuss some business. It's good, boy. It's good. Jason, I want you to tell me one thing. How do I know that you have not made a deal with the feds to testify against me? How do I know? This, bu this bullet in my arm should tell you that. I'm in this for the money, Pops. I want half the real cash. Half! And then I'll disappear. He won't ever see me again. You forget. You're the one that pointed the gun at me. 
ci, ci si uniamo a voi. How do we let it get this so far, kid? I think the death of my mother was definitely a turning point. I know you're not going to understand it, son. But your mama, she tried to destroy me. And I couldn't have let that happen. Until right now, I wasn't sure you did it. Fucking kill you. I'm gonna give you ten seconds, Jason. Please tell me where is the money. Oh, please, Jason. Fuck you. Please, Jason. Tell me. Please, Jason. Oh, God, Jason. He's got the money. Yeah, the feds are at some guy's house right now. I bet my nuts a bouncer. We're gonna get him, baby. I know what we do, he's He's gonna be dead. He's gonna be dead like like a dick. You got it? Yeah, I got it. You okay? I'm sure that he'll be fine. I just killed him, my boy. I feel great. Eddie, do me a favor, please, Eddie. Get in my car for me, please. Eddie, get in my fucking car, please. Danny, Julia, and Jack. This is sweet, Rico. I never thought you could stoop this low. Yeah, well, you know it beats government work. So, this is the dark side you were warning me about? No, I guess I didn't teach you very well, did I? You're the one on the dark side, Julia. No, I don't think so. At least I live an honest life. You just don't get it, do you? You know, one of these days, you're gonna kill somebody with that thing in your hand. And you're gonna think about it for the rest of your life. But for one second, just before you squeeze that trigger, the value of human life's gonna be the last thing on your mind. Do you think I care what you have to say? Look at you. Look at you. Well, I'm so sorry to disappoint you. I am not disappointed. What about you, Danny? What do you think? So you're gonna cooperate? Oh, yeah, I know the game. I testify against Varelli. You give me immunity. Well, I'd rather you shoot me. Don't tempt me. Then I guess is where it's gonna have to end. What are you saying? Well, there's Varelli's money. Jason's long gone, and I ain't gonna testify. So you're gonna have to let me go or kill me. Don't make me do this, Rico. Rico, I swear to God, I'll fucking shoot!
move, bitch. Come on. Jake, really? Waste this fucking bitch. Hey. Keep it his bitch in mind. I need to. Hey, man, let's go away. Fucking about you. He's a motherfucker to trouble than his word. Get out <laughs> No, what are you talking about? You gotta stay with me, Danny. You stay with me, Danny. You stay with me, Danny. No! No, Danny, don't you die! Danny! Danny, Danny. No. Please, baby, no. No. No! 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 no. I want the girl alive, and then you and I have got some unfinished business to take care of here. Oh, is that the right? Well, that's it too bad. You see, the girls are dead. She just doesn't know it yet. You listen to me, and you listen to God. It's not about the money anymore. It's a personal. I will find you. Don't even sweat coming to find me. I'm coming to frag your ass. Fuck you.
میشه Ha 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 